Hello, we have four product to sum formulas, and in each one, on the left side, we have a product of sine and cosine of two different angles, alpha and beta. So, each expression on the left side represents a product. These formulas allow us to convert each product into a sum or a difference. For example, the first formula is sine of alpha, sine of beta, equals one half cosine of alpha minus beta minus cosine of alpha plus beta. So, as you see, if on the right side we distribute one half, then we will have a difference. Now, to derive these formulas, we need the addition and subtraction formulas that you see below. So, let's see how we can derive the first formula. So, here we have the first formula, and to derive it, we will need the last two addition and subtraction formulas. In the first step, I will bring to the right the last formula, and now I will need this one. So, here we have both of them, and in the next step, we will subtract them. First, we will subtract the left sides, and we will have cosine of alpha minus beta minus cosine of alpha plus beta. And now, on the right side, cosine of alpha, cosine of beta will cancel, and we will have sine of alpha, sine of beta, minus negative, which is plus sine of alpha, sine of beta. So again, sine of alpha, sine of beta, minus negative sine of alpha, sine of beta, is sine of alpha, sine of beta, plus sine of alpha, sine of beta. Now, on the right side, we have two like terms, and if we add them, we will get two sine of alpha, sine of beta. And now we will have cosine of alpha minus beta minus cosine of alpha plus beta equals two sine of alpha sine of beta. In the next step, we will multiply both sides by one half. Then on the right side, two and two will cancel. And now, first, I will bring down sine of alpha, sine of beta, and we will have sine of alpha, sine of beta, equals one half, parenthesis, cosine of alpha minus beta, minus cosine of alpha plus beta. And this is the formula that we needed. Now, let's see how we can derive the second formula. So, here we have the second formula, and to derive it, again, we will need the last two addition and subtraction formulas. First, I will bring to the right the last one, and then this one. And now, let's add these two formulas. On the left side, we will have cosine of alpha minus beta plus cosine of alpha plus beta. On the right side, cosine of alpha cosine of beta plus cosine of alpha cosine of beta is two cosine of alpha cosine of beta, so we will write two cosine of alpha cosine of beta, and sine of alpha sine of beta and negative sine of alpha sine of beta will cancel. And now, we will multiply both sides by one half, and on the right side, two and two will cancel, and now I will start with cosine of alpha, cosine of beta, and we will have cosine of alpha, cosine of beta, equals one half, cosine of alpha minus beta, plus cosine of alpha plus beta. And this is the second formula. Now, let's continue with the next formula. So, here we have the third formula, and to derive it, we will need the first two addition and subtraction formulas. So, here I brought them to the right, and now we will add them. 
on the left side we will have sine of alpha plus beta plus sine of alpha minus beta equals and on the right side sine of alpha cosine of beta plus sine of alpha cosine of beta is 2 sine of alpha cosine of beta. So we will write 2 sine of alpha cosine of beta. And cosine of alpha sine of beta and negative cosine of alpha sine of beta will cancel. Now we will multiply both sides by 1 half. Then on the right side 2 and 2 will cancel. And we will bring down the right side sine of alpha cosine of beta equals 1 half sine of alpha plus beta plus sine of alpha minus beta. And this is the third formula. And now let's derive the last one. So here we have the last formula and to derive it again we will need the first two addition and subtraction formulas. So here I brought them to the right and now we will subtract them. Then on the left side we will have sine of alpha plus beta minus sine of alpha minus beta equals and now on the right side sine of alpha cosine of beta minus sine of alpha cosine of beta will cancel and cosine of alpha sine of beta minus negative cosine of alpha sine of beta is cosine of alpha sine of beta plus cosine of alpha sine of beta. So again we will have cosine of alpha sine of beta plus cosine of alpha sine of beta. And now on the right side we have two like terms and if we add them we will get 2 cosine of alpha sine of beta. So now we will have sine of alpha plus beta minus sine of alpha minus beta equals 2 cosine of alpha sine of beta. Then in the next step we will multiply both sides by one half and on the right side we will cancel 2 and 2. Then we will bring down the right side first that is cosine of alpha sine of beta equals one half sine of alpha plus beta minus sine of alpha minus beta. And this is the last product to sum formula. I hope this video was useful for you and please subscribe, leave a comment and thank you for watching.